Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's midweek and I need a recipe that would be very simple. So I've chosen a one tray bake and um, also it is healthy and delicious, obviously, but it is a great um, lunch. You can pack it up, pack up the leftovers for next day lunch box or hopefully we'll have spring and summer soon. So that's a great one to take to picnics as a pack lunch as well. So um, yeah, let's get cooking. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so you get a notification. And um, yeah, let's not waste any more time and better get myself into the kitchen. So uh, the recipe I've chosen for you guys is um, from a cookbook. I haven't done cook the book for a few weeks now, so it was time to bring that back. And I've received a brand new book from Rosie Reynolds. It's called The Shortcut Cook All in One. It's a gorgeous looking book. And as the name suggests, the recipes are simple. Um, but this one I love because um, it's called Chicken Fajita Style Tray Bake with avocado salsa so yeah i'm not going to waste any more time i know rosie because rosie is not only a great food writer but she's also a food stylist and she's worked on my upcoming new book um uh, so yeah uh, and she's absolutely lovely so i thought i will cook something from her stunning new book i'll leave the details to this in the description but for right now let's get some chicken start with a red pepper and a yellow pepper and i'm going to cut into strips Just get a deep baking tray and transfer the peppers into this tray and I'm going to get an onion. A large onion again cut into chunks or strips however you like it. Um, so this calls for two chicken thighs. Um, I actually have got more than two in the fridge so I'm just going to use four of these and then again cut them into strips um, actually yeah thin thin kind of strips you know, just half it and then actually make it more bite size so actually the recipe only uses two chicken breasts like i said um, but i've used four because i want to make a little bit extra for my daughter to take it to for school lunch tomorrow and yeah so we should be able to four of us should be able to have this for dinner and have a portion left for lunch so that's the chicken done it goes with the onions and peppers a few things to go in here lots of freshly ground black pepper next two teaspoons of smoked paprika Two teaspoons of dried oregano or oregano. Um, so this calls for two teaspoons of uh, uh, garlic granules. I am going to use fresh. So I'm going to use five cloves of garlic and just roughly chop it. Just going to add two teaspoons of ground cumin. And now two tablespoons of olive oil. So there you go. I've got the oven heating up at 180 fan or 200 C. Good mix. And this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes, 20 minutes. So this is another great 30 minute meal. I love 30 minute meals, especially in the week, you know, you want to serve really healthy, delicious food and you don't want to be spending too much time in the kitchen. So these sort of recipes are great. Right, so while that's in the oven, I'm gonna prepare the sides that will go with it. So it all comes together at once. Starting with a couple of avocados, peel and chop them. Uh, 
Um, next goes in one onion. You can use red or white. I like um, red with the avocado, so I'm using red. And a couple of tomatoes. Next goes in salt and pepper. And lemon juice. You can use lime juice or whatever you have at home. I've got the uh, chicken in the oven. I've got the avocado salsa ready. I have got um, some sour cream is what the recipe wants but I have got some natural yogurt because I love natural yogurt and I prefer that to sour cream so I'm using that. I'm just telling you elements I need, we need to put this thing together and uh, just grate some cheddar cheese. Um, what you do need is um, are some uh, tortillas to serve them with but um, I do buy uh, ready-made tortillas, but I very much prefer homemade tortillas slash chapatis, whatever you want to make it. So I'm making some right now while the chicken is cooking. Um, so I've got half and half. I'm mixing plain flour half and chapati flour half. You can make it all with plain flour as well. So that's a total of 300 grams, 150 plain flour and 150 um, chapati flour. I'm just going to add tiniest little bit of salt, quarter teaspoon, give it a mix and I'm going to start with 120 ml of water. I'm just going to add a tablespoon of olive oil to make it nice and soft and then slowly add the water. Don't add it all together like I always say for flatbreads. Add little at a time and stop when you have a nice soft dough. Basically the bowl, the plate or the bowl or whatever you needing this in should be clean. That looks like a lovely dough. I'm going to knead it for two minutes and then let it rest, cover and let it rest for 15 and then roll out the tortillas. Look at smoothing it out. Just a drop of oil, that's too much. So it has been 15 minutes. I'll just show you, look at that, how soft the dough is now. So stretchy and that's why you need to let it rest. Anyway, so I'm gonna make um, the what am I making? Just wraps. Um, I don't want them crazy big. Right, that is much better. I'm gonna cover the rest. Um, just use a little bit of flour, just like a chapati. Basically, it is a chapati, you know. You can give it any name you like. The key is to have it really thin. that's looking pretty good so I'm gonna transfer it to a nice hot pan reduce the heat a little bit there you go look at that that's the perfect size for this pan it'll just take a couple of minutes to cook on each side and once you see the bubbles that's when we turn it over
Now you can leave them dry. You don't have to add any oil to this, but I want to add a bit of oil because I don't want them to crisp up. So, just gonna get a drop of olive oil. And just gonna make sure it's spread evenly. And then cook. And just like that, the eight um, wraps are ready. They are obviously still warm. They're super soft. What I'm going to do is just going to cover this up so they remain soft and I'm going to bring everything together. So it has been uh, 20 minutes. Look at that. Look at that. I could happily eat it just as it is. But we have to add a couple more things. So that's our chicken. And I'm adding a tin of drained and rinsed uh, black beans. Lovely. And I've got a 250 grams of ready um, cooked rice. I don't use pouch rice, but this recipe calls for ready kind of, you know, it's just giving you shortcuts to take. And I'm going to give it a mix. So... I would happily use kind of leftover rice, any left, I've always got leftover rice in the fridge and I would just use that if you don't want to use a packet rice. Right, this goes back in the hot oven for five more minutes so that everything heats through together. So I'm going to return this for five minutes. I can't wait, I can't wait, I am starving, I am so hungry. Um, so we have got the avocado, um, what was it? Avocado salsa, sorry. God. We've got some natural yogurt. Um, uh, it calls for um, sour cream, obviously, but I'm going for a slightly healthier route. I've grated some cheddar and under this we have got our lovely homemade tortillas. smells so good you know what okay let me say this smells good I know how it's going to taste because of what spices I've put in and um, I can say one thing I would happily eat this as it is with the side of some really lovely salad actually forget salad with the side of this salsa so um, yeah I think that's what I might do and I might give the kids some so we've got a wrap then I'm going to add some lovely ooh, yogurt. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then, oh, I need a thingy for that. Actually, <laughs> right. oh my God, look at that. Come, look here. Look at this loveliness. That looks so lush. Got my salsa. And then the cheese. Whoa. I would definitely add more heat to it. So maybe red chilies or a chili sauce or um, it's not spicy enough for me, but mm. so good. That is delicious. Like I said, you can serve this 
as it is with salad in a wrap like this oh so so good i really hope you're gonna enjoy this recipe guys don't forget to subscribe i'll see you back in next week bye for now and this is how i'm eating it like a bowl just a nice delicious bowl of food <laughs>